our chief guest for this evening, Archbishop Benny Trevis, Reverend Sister Angelina Francis, Provincial of the Daughters of the Cross, Reverend Sister Nasreen Superior, Reverend Fathers and Sisters, Ladies and Gentlemen, Distinguished Guests, and the wonderful students of St. Joseph's College for Women. A warm and delightful evening to all of you gathered here on this special occasion. I am Carol and alongside me is Harriet and it is our absolute pleasure to welcome you to this magical Christmas program. As we come together today, may the spirit of Christmas envelop us in its warmth, fill our hearts with peace and instill us with the hope that this festive season is known for. It is a time when the world is adorned with a gleam of love, care and true sacrifice and when the true meaning of forgiveness and affection even for our adversaries is illuminated. So my friends, let us come together, celebrate this special day with unity and create cherished memories that will last a lifetime. To begin our program, let us start with a hymn by St. Francis of Assisi, Praying for Peace. Sister Elizabeth Nyamit to present bouquets to our chief guest of this evening. His Excellency Archbishop Benny Mario Trevis. <laughs> His 
His Excellency Cardinal Joseph Coots. U.S. Council General <laughs> Adair East Provincial Sister Angelina Francis Reverend Sister Nasreen Superior. It is my pleasure to call on stage the children from Providence Home for a welcome dance to welcome you all on this grand occasion. Keep on 
jumping off the floor, dancing to your feet to soar. Party hard, just like it's Monty girl, cause that's what life is for. And we don't party hardly, we just party hard. And not because we born, we party cause we born a party. That's why, keep on just, that's why, keep on just, that's why, keep on doing, yes, that's why. Keep on doing, doing what I'm doing, y'all. I like the moment, moment, I like the moment, moment. I like the moving, moving. We like the moving. I like the moving, moving. She like the moving, moving. He like the moving, moving. We like the moving. I like the body, body. He like the body, body. They like the body. Thank you, thank you all. It was an amazing performance. Picture the vast expanse of the night sky, with its innumerable stars countless constellations and the grandeur of our sprawling solar system. Amidst this cosmic tapestry, there's a small, insignificant planet we call Earth. It is here, in the midst of this vast creation, that God's divine handiwork is truly evident. He crafted not only the stars and planets, but also the people and all living beings inhabiting this world. The name of our play is in Latin, Pacis Promisio. Oh, what does this mean? It means a promise of peace. A little over 2000 years ago, precisely when humanity needed it the most, God descended from the heavens to be among us. He came to save us to show us the path to a life well lived and to share in our human experience. Yes, it is also worth noting that God could have selected any place to make his earthly dwelling. He had the power to construct a magnificent palace that would draw off the grandeur of the Roman Empire itself. However, his choice was anything but lavish. God chose to send his beloved son to be born in the most of humble circumstances among those who are often forgotten, overlooked, and the poorest in the society. This is a remarkable and a timeless story of how God came to be with us.
Christmas whispers a timely tale of hope, love, and the pursuit of peace. Grandma Zuma, why is Christmas so significant? Well, my dear, let me transport you back in time. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. Greetings, Mary. You are highly favored, and the Lord is with you. What do you want? Why have you come to see me? Do not be afraid. You have found favor with God and will conceive and give birth to a son. You will call him Jesus. How shall this be, since I know not a man? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. For with God, nothing is impossible.
Mary's betrothed was a man of God. When he found out Mary was pregnant before they came together, he decided to divorce her quietly so she wouldn't be in disgrace. But before he could, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Her child was conceived from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to name him Jesus because he will save all the people from their sins. I must find Mary and make her my wife. What do you think, Frederick? Well, Hanoka, I think Joseph's unwavering support embodies the power of love. I also find Mary's faith truly inspiring as well. Now, we would like to welcome UAE Council General and Alama Essen, the Ambassador of Peace and Interreligious Dialogue. issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone was required to go to their hometown to register. So Joseph took Mary, who was great with child, on the hard journey to Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph arrived, they looked for a place to stay.
Joseph, there is not much time. I pray we find a place soon. I know you must be weary, but let's try one more place. Maybe this incubator can help us. What do you want? Sir, do you have any rooms left? My wife is about to give birth and we need a place to stay. There are no rooms left. Can't you see how crowded the city is? Please help us. My only suggestion is this table. There is some soft hay where you may lie. I know you and the Christ child deserve much better. But I'm afraid this is the only alternative. That will be fine. I have faith. God will take care of us. This is all I could find. I hope this keeps the baby warm. Thank you for your kindness. I am sure he will be blessed. The time soon came for the baby to be born. Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them.
meanwhile, in the fields of Bethlehem, there were shepherds living nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. There is a strangeness in the air tonight. Even I feel it too, as if something wonderful is about to happen. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of David. A Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. What? The Messiah we have been waiting for has come? Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Let's go. Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So the shepherds hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who lay in the manger. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day.
Thank you. I may God bless you. has been born, King of the Jews. We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Where is this Christ child to be born? Out of you will come a shepherd who will rule my people. Very well, you may leave. Go to Bethlehem of Judea and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. King Herod had no intention of worshipping the baby. Jealousy and fear left in his heart and he planned to kill the child. The wise men went on their way and followed the star they had seen until it stopped over a place where the child was born. They bowed down and worshipped him.
child radiates an aura of peace. Our journey was destined for this sacred moment. Thank you for these gifts. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe on your journeys. King Harry has asked us to return to him, to let him know where your child is. But we were warned in our dream not to go back to him. We will return to our country by another route. This was the first Christmas. just an ancient narrative. It's a timeless reminder of love, empathy, and the quest for peace in our world. In a world marred by discord, Christmas reminds us that we can find solace in the message of peace. Peace on earth, goodwill to all. Let's take this message beyond the festive season, incorporating it into our daily lives. I want to be a beacon of peace, much like the angels guiding others towards kindness and unity. Let's share the love we experience tonight, praying waves of peace that touch every corner of the world. May the spirit of Christmas dwell in your hearts, motivating you to become ambassadors of peace, today and every day.
joy to the world, the Lord is come. But these days I've been reflecting upon a song that was sung in 1984. The title of it goes, Do They Know It's Christmas? It was sung by a group, but it was organized by Bob Jeldoff and Major in 1984 because then there was a famine in Ethiopia and the world united to assist them but the song that they sang was Do They Know It's Christmas? In the place of Bethlehem where Jesus was born an announcement has already been made that there will be no Christmas celebrations, only prayer service. But if we look at our own city of Karachi, I have to ask myself, do they know it's Christmas? These days, the people that I've encountered, be it outside or in my office, have had tears in their eyes because they cannot make ends meet with the high inflation, with the high prices. They just cannot make ends meet. And once again, I have to ask myself, do they know it's Christmas? And yet, the story of Christmas as shown to us today is Emmanuel, God is with us. God is with us. And we are reminded in the story that Jesus is, is not coming to some high places or palaces. Where Jesus is found is, in, is with the poor and the vulnerable of society, the rejected of society. And my dear friends, this is the story of Christmas. That if we want to find the Lord present in our lives today, if we want to find God, we have to go to the poor, the vulnerable, the rejected of society. I take this occasion, sister, to thank you for this wonderful presentation and for granting us the possibility of being present. May God bless St. Joseph's College. May God bless us all. Thank you very much. for inspiring words. As said by Margaret Fuller, if you have knowledge, then other light their candles in it. Now, we would like to call Alama Essen, the Ambassador of Peace and Interreligious Dialogue, to say a few words. और 
हमारे पाकिस्तान की शान हमारे पाकिस्तान की जान इज्जत आप जनाब कार्डिनल जोजू साहब होते 
ہے ہم اس کو سیلیبریٹ کریں تو اس وقت ہم مختلف جگہوں کے پر کیونکہ یہ ہمارے سب کی ذمہ داری ہے بحیثیت ریجن سکولر بحیثیت پاکستانی ہم سب کی ذمہ داری ہے کہ ہم آپس کے اندر کریٹ مائی سلوگر اس کریٹنگ آف کنیکشن ہم محبت کے کنیکشن کو جوڑے اور مفردوں کو ختم کریں یہی تمام انبیاء علیہ السلام اگر ہم تمام پیغمبر کی تعلیمات پر ہم عمل کر لیں تو یہ ہماری دنیا یہ معاشرہ ہمارا عمل کا مطلباداری کا بارہ بن سکتا ہے اگر ہماری جو دیگی تعلیمات ہیں چاہے وہ جیسی پروفیٹ جیسی کی ہو یا پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ صلی اللہ تو ہم سب ان پر عمل کر کے یہ دنیا کو عمل کا دیوارہ بنا سکتے ہیں میرے ساتھ جو جناب محترم بکی صاحب ان کا ہر اول سے کتاب ہے پچھلے لاسٹ ٹو ڈیئر بیفور ہم نے گلوبل چارٹر سائن کیا ابو دیوی کے اندر آپ اس کو ریکٹ پر سر کر سکتے ہیں پاکستان سے جو ابو دیوی کے دبائی کے بہت بڑے مفتی آزم ہیں ہمارے کیسے ہیں مفتی آزم ہیں اسی طرح دبائی کے اندر مفتی آزم شیخ عبداللہ بن بھائی شیخ عبداللہ بن بھائی پوری دنیا کے اندر یہی محبتوں کو پیغام دیتے ہیں انٹرفیت حرمنی کو ابراہیم اکال کو ابراہیمی فیل لیکن ہم سب حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام کی اولاد ہیں تو آپ سرچ کر سکتے ہیں حضرت ابراہیمی فیل تو ابراہیمی فیل ہمیں یہ بتاتا ہے کہ ہم سب ایک ہیں ہم سب ایک خدا کے ماننے والے ہیں آج ان لوگوں نے ہمارے لوگوں نے جو جو نفرت کے سودہ گر ہیں انہوں نے ہمارے درمیان ہیوار ڈال دی جو پاسپورٹ جو سیزنس کو مجھے وہ میرا پاکستان دیتا ہے وہ مسلمس کو بھی وہی پاسپورٹ دیتا ہے وہی سب کو دیتا ہے تو آئیے ہم نفرتوں کو مٹھائیں اور محبتوں کو بڑھائیں بچوں سے یہ بات ضرور کہتا ہوں اور آج آپ سے بھی کہہ دیتا ہوں کہ شاید آپ جس سے نفرت کر رہے ہوں شاید آپ جس سے نفرت کر رہے ہوں کہ دیکھیں ہم سب کا پلیٹ ہم سب کا پلیٹ ایک ہی ہے کسی کا پلیٹ گرین ہے گلو ہے ریڈ ہے بچوں نے کچھ ہمیں ہاتھ کھڑا کر کے مجھے بتائیں گے ریڈ ہے اس کا ہاتھ کھڑا کر کے پتہ ہے دیکھیں یہی بات ہے کہ یہ جب بلیٹس جو ہے ہمارے سب کے ایک ہیں چاہے مسلمز کا ہو چاہے کشنز کا ہو ہندو کا ہو جیوش کا ہو پاسی کا ہو آپ اس سے نفرت کر رہے ہو کیا پتا اگر آپ بلیٹ بینٹ کے جائیں آپ کو خدا نہ کہتا ہے کبھی بلیٹ کی جو میں پیش آ جائے تو جب آپ بلیٹ پہ جائیں تو جس سے آپ نفرت کر رہے ہیں اسی نے آپ کو حیات دے دی اسی نے آپ کو بقا دے دی ہم سب کا پلیٹ ایک ہے ہم سب ایک خدا کے معنی والے ہیں تو ہم ان نفرتوں کو ختم کریں چاہے سب کا پلیٹ ایک ہی ہے اور وہی ایک دوسرے کی زندگی کے اندر موجود ہے بہت بہت مبارک آپ سب کو میری طرف سے مسلم کمیٹی کی طرف سے تمام دنیا کے اندر جتنی مسیح کمیٹی ہے سب کو میری طرف سے اس اس کی خوشیہ بہت بہت مبارک ہو آپ کو حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام و السلام کی کا یوم ودادت بہت بہت مبارک ہو میری طرف سے میرے حیر و عیال کی طرف سے اور ہماری پوری آئی سی پی ایچ اور آئی آر ایف پاکستان کی طرف سے آپ سب کو ایک بات پھر بہت بہت مبارک ہو السلام علیکم برحمت اللہ Thank you for your words of enlightenment. Now, we would like to call U.S. Council General to say a few words. Good evening, 
to everybody. And I just have to say, to these students on the stage, every one of them, you are the best lambs I've ever had. It is truly a treat to be here in Pakistan for Christmas. And my wife Jennifer and I have, have enjoyed our time being here. We are far away from family, but because of the great work that you did tonight and the wonderful message to the song that you delivered to us this evening, you reminded, at least me and Jennifer, of the true meaning of Christmas. You brought back so many good memories of me as a child. When I was a student, sitting in the stage, playing the lamb, or being a wise man, or singing a song, and just lots of good memories of, of, of the, 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 the songs and the story. Thank you for giving that to me. You've given me the best Christmas present tonight. And so my, my closing message to everyone is that my prayer, and how cool it is, how nice, to have people from different faiths here shown me and my family tonight is that the message should be a message of peace. And so as each of us leave this hall this evening, may each of us be inspired by your songs, by your stories, is that as we go out to the streets of Karachi, no matter we're, whether we're diplomats or students in a school or a business leader or in the marketplace, try to find a way that you can share that message of peace to others through your actions every day. But thank you very much, and Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Thank you for your beautiful words. Now, we would like to call upon our dearest principal for a thank you note.
We accept it as a will of God. Except when this is a technical thing, technical problem, and we face all this, and we accept that. I also would like to thank our MCs, the students of Singapore's College. We also thank the children of the Providence Home. Providence Home is a home in defense. Where we have about 15 to 70 students who are from broken families, from orphanage, and our sisters that look after them in defense. Thank you all for joining us this evening to share the pleasant vibes of Christmas through this wonderful and inspiring performance of Pache's Proviso, a promise of peace. I hope that the message of peace has touched your hearts as it has touched mine. As we conclude this program, let us keep this in mind. As we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, who is born to be the King of Peace, so it is not just a short lived moment or an abstract concept. It is a continuous journey. It requires ongoing effort, understanding, and commitment from each one of us. The world we live in today is faced with numerous challenges, conflicts, divisions, injustice, and inequality. But it is also filled with hope, compassion, and unity. We have witnessed undeniable power of peace in action when individuals come together for a common cause, when bridges are built instead of walls, and when love times over it. As we gather to celebrate this beautiful season, let us remember that we have the power to create change. Each one of us can be a peacemaker force for good in this world. It starts with forgiveness, understanding, respect, and kindness towards one another. Let us carry the spirit of Pachi's Promiso, a promise of peace, with us beyond this, into our homes, schools, workplaces, and communities. Let us strive for unity, empathy, and inclusivity. Let us embrace diversity and celebrate the rich tapestry of humanity. And so, as we end this program, may the promise of peace that Pachi's Proviso inspires us all to work together a brighter, more peaceful world. Remember, that peace begins with each and every one of us. We have the power to shape our future and create a legacy of peace for generations to come. Thank you once again for being a part of this unforgettable evening. Let us continue to spread the message of peace and embrace it in our lives every day. Merry Christmas and may peace be with you all. Thank you. Very much. I'm just reminded that there are so many names, so I'm sorry that I forgot. Our teachers, Miss Jessica, Ms. Sajda, they were the director of the day. And even the parents who have come, come here for the first time, our beloved guest, AK Kanam Mundi to Badi Tambi Vishro Jaiji. So I thank all of you from the core of my heart, all our teachers, my teachers from school, St. Joseph's Convent School and many other schools, and many principals are here. I thank all of you for being here. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Anna, I said he is saying that he would like
शुक्रिया दे रहा हूँ जो आज मौका मिला हम लोगों के साथ चर्चा करने का और मैं बहुत खुश हूँ आज सेलिब्रेट कर रहा हूँ आप लोग के साथ बहुत खसूस और हमारा भाई के साथ और जो आप परफॉर्मेंस किया माशाल्लाह सब ने बहुत अच्छा लगा लेकिन क्रिसमस खुशी मनाने का हम लोग भी जो हम लोग भी के अंदर हर किस्म के हर लोगों के साथ हम लोग मिल के अंदर आते और हम लोगों ने क्रिसमस तरीके का हम लोग लगा दिया अपना पहुँच दिए खुशी क्यों हमारा भी कोई स्तर आपकी कम्यूनिटी का और उनकी हर पंथा है क्योंकि फर्ज पंथा में उनके लिए खुशियाँ के साथ मनाना है और मैं सिर्फ ये बोल रहा हूँ पाकिस्तान का मतलब जो हम लोगों ने सीखा है ना बचपन में अरबी में हम लोग ये बोलते हैं अल अरबाई का मतलब पाक जमीन और पाक जमीन से हमेशा अच्छा चीज निकलेगा सुबह कोई भी मजहब कोई भी इंसान मैं हमेशा बोलता हूँ पाकिस्तान में लोग बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं जहीन लोग हैं सिर्फ इनको चांस मिलना है और जो आज आप लोगों ने चांस दिया हम लोग को साथ शिरकत करने का मैं बहुत खुश हूँ और मैं आप लोग के लिए दुआ करूँ और आपको पता यू ही में काफ़ी ऐसे ऐसे इब्राहिमी फेक भी और सबको मिलाया यू ही करते रहिए और सबको हकूक भी दिया और हम लोग आप लोग को रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं हम लोग आप लोग का हिस्सा भी है हम लोग की आप लोग का आप लोग का हिस्सा है आप लोग हम लोग का हिस्सा है लाइफ का अंदर और ज़रूर हम लोग मिल के साथ मिलना है जुलना है सबका ईद खुश होना चाहिए जैसे कोई भी मजहब का कोई भी इनकी खुशी का मिलाना ज़रूरी है इंसान जब खुशी साथ ले आएगा खुशी साथ रखेगा हमेशा इंसान इनकी दिमाग का तौर पर खुश रहेगा और मैं आप लोग को अपना तरफ से और यू ही गवर्नमेंट का तरफ से आप लोग को बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया दे रहा हूँ जो आज चांस मिला आपको जो मौका आज मिला आप लोग के साथ शिरकत करने का और मैं हमेशा आप लोग के लिए दुआ गाऊँ जो आज चांस मिला और बदखसूस काजला साहब के लिए जो आज Now we would like to call His Excellency Cardinal Joseph Coates to say a few words. Goodwill, 
lack of good will, the angels sang peace to God on high, glory to God on high, and peace on earth to people of good will. We are lacking people of good will. I went, I had the occasion to be there, and Lama Sahib made a reference to it, and all of you should know that in February 2019, in Abu Dhabi, the capital of the UAE, there was a historic event really, but the press did not play it up. Pope Francis was invited to come to Abu Dhabi together with the Chancellor, the Grand Imam, the Chancellor of the very ancient university in Cairo, Al Azhar. And the UAE leaders, they were the hosts. And it was a sight to see. It was a small stadium reserved only for a few people. When that white helicopter came down with the Imam and Pope Francis in it, and then they came down somewhere behind the trees. And then they walked to the stage where he was sitting. And the, the Sheikh of Abu Dhabi was holding their hand. One side the Pope and the other side was the <laughs> And not only that, the only the purpose. They were led to the stage and then they sat down and they signed the document, which in Urdu also, Arabic also we use the same. In Urdu also we use the same words. A Puwate in Sanya. Human fraternity. Human fraternity. A Puwate in Sanya. Not just a dash that not. Not only say hello, swabal to one another, but the human as the human race. And that goodwill is lacking because the press even didn't find it an important event. So in many areas, if you can't blame only the Israelis or only Hamas, why many yes. There's so much lack of goodwill in the world. And there are so many examples of what is called initiatives. In 1886, Pope John Paul II invited all the religious heads, the religious leaders of the world to come to Assisi. Assisi is a small town, you will hardly find it on the map, but it is famous because of St. Francis of Assisi. And I'm glad you sang that song in the beginning. It's, it's the words, the canticle of uh, St. Francis of Assisi. Anybody of any faith, of any religion can say that prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring Love. Where there is darkness, light, yes. and so on. It's beautiful. A Muslim friend of mine once, when he heard it, he said, please give me a copy of this prayer. <laughs> if all of us could make it, all of us with good will, we say, we pray that prayer, God made me an instrument of peace. Not only talking about peace, not only saying Shabash, and then going back to our old ways of doing. No change will come. Things could even get worse in our world. <coughs> what is going on there in Israel? What's happening in Ukraine? We forget what's happening in Sudan. What's happening in, in Myanmar. All peoples of different religions. In Myanmar it is the, it is the Buddhists. Who are oppressing their own people. The military there. And so on. So please let us also pray for peace. Pray for peace. Pray for a change in the human heart. That was the message that all the prophets brought. Repent. Turn back to the way God is showing you, not the way that the politicians are showing you. Our own Pakistan. Pray for peace in Pakistan. Elections are coming. So thank you so much for giving us such a beautiful message. I hope we can take something with us. And we do all we can, either by singing, or by stage plays, or by the education you are getting in one of the very old institutions of Karachi, 1862. 1862, so this 
of the college of the school of St. Joe's was founded. And all of you children, big and small, we have to play a part in a real chance to be peacemakers. As who said it, like Alama Saab, I think, said, that it was your own neighbors, whoever they are, whoever they are your neighbors. So may God bless all of us. And may we all become instruments of peace and love and understanding. Thank you very much for a beautiful show, sister, and all of you wonderful students and teachers who have worked behind the scenes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for this wonderful work. Students, do you know which special guest is coming to visit us right now? Yes, it is Santa Claus. Hey, sir, do you know who Santa Claus is? Isn't Santa Claus just Santa Claus? No. The legend of Santa Claus can be traced back hundreds of years ago to a saint named Saint Nicholas. Today, he is thought of being the young, jolly man in red who bring toys to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. But the story stretches all the way back to the 3rd century when Saint Nicholas walked the earth and became the patron saint of children. It is said that he gave away all his inherited wealth and traveled the countryside, helping the poor and sick. One of the best known stories of Saint Nicholas is known for is the time he saved three poor sisters from being sold into slavery. Mm. 